Hello! So today I'm going to talk with you about how to create a gutter margin in Word so that when your book prints, it prints properly. And first, of course, I need to talk about what a gutter margin even is. So if you look at a book, you might think, all right, if this is a 6x9 book, that all of these pages are printed to 6x9 and just have like a half inch margin around all the sides. But you have to remember that the paper is actually getting sucked into the binding. There is a portion of the page that is completely lost to the binding. And if you just had a half inch margin, then the text would start like way up jammed in there and it would be not able to be read. So first you need your half inch margin around the sides to be able to have the text not you know running right off the page. But in addition, you need an additional margin in there, which is called the gutter. And that way, you account for that amount of space that is being sucked in by the glue to hold the pages together. All right, so you can sort of see that that space right there is about half an inch and that about matches that. But in addition to what you can see there, you also need additional space, which is usually about a third of an inch, which is completely lost into the glue and binding. So with that knowledge in mind, Let's talk about how to go into Word and set up your document so it has a gutter margin with it. All right, so now we are in Microsoft Word and we are going to show how to make a gutter margin using the Word commands. So we're going to start by clicking on New to make a new document. And we're going to click to make a blank document. And I'm going to set this to be six by nine just to show you how this all looks in a normal book size. So you don't need to do this, but we're going to set this to size. And we'll set this to six by nine. All right, so now we've got six by nine pages set up and I'm just going to dump in some text from a Christmas Carol to have something in here, which is a nice out of copyright book. All right, so now we've got six by nine pages and we've got some content in there which represents your book. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to set the normal margins for each page. You can see right now we've got these pages and they're set with one inch margins, which is Word's default, at least in my system, which is pretty huge for a book that's a six by nine book. So to set your margins, you go over to the margins option. Well, I suppose if you're not in layout already, you go to the layout option and then you go to margins and we'll go down to custom margins at the bottom. All right, so in the custom margins, you can see on my system it's set to an inch margin, which is pretty big. So by default for most books, you want it to be half inch margin. So we're gonna set top half inch, bottom half inch, left half inch, right half inch. So now the whole book here, we'll click on okay, just so you can see that. All right, so now the book has got half inch margins on it, which is more typical for a paperback or hardcover book that you would read. But the problem is that these edges are going to get sucked right into the binding when it prints. So you're going to lose a lot of this. So that's how we need to set the gutters. So to set a gutter margin, you go again to layout and then to margins. And we're going to choose custom margins. So we have our half inch margins, top, bottom, left, and right. And you'll see over here, we have an option now for the gutter margin. And the gutter margin is the part that's completely lost to view that is being sucked into the binding in the glue. So we're going to put 0.3 is the standard size to put in the gutter margins. And your positions options are left or top. We want left. We want them on the sides of the pages, not in the top and the bottom of the page. And this is applying to the whole document. So to set a gutter margin for any document, you go into layout, margins, custom margins, and then you choose your gutter right in there. And the standard default is 0.3. If your book is like a 800 page tome or something, you might need more gutter to be able to handle how thick the uh, gutter area is going to be for a book of that size. But Amazon will tell you if your book gets that huge, what kind of a gutter setting you need to use for it. So we'll set the 0.3 setting for our normal size book. We'll click on OK. Now, if you look at these, it looks like it's always the left hand side of the page, which is getting this gutter margin applied to it. And that's because by default, Word assumes that you are doing things like letters or essays or other things that don't have a left, right, left, right kind of sense to them. So now we need to tell it that our document has left, right, left, right pages so that it knows to alternate the gutter on the left side and the right side and the left side and the right side and so on. So the easiest way to do this is you just click up here in the header area, which will be at the top of any of your pages. So I'm just clicking at the top of one of my pages. 
and you see that it says, all right, you're in the header area now. And this is where you normally put, you know, the title of your book or page numbers or other kind of stuff like that. So I am going to put page numbers in here just so you can see what's going on. And I'm going to put page numbers in. All right, so right now, these are all showing up on the left-hand side. It's treating every single page like every other page. It's not assuming that there's going to be a left-hand page and a right-hand page and a left-hand page and so on. So when you're in this header area or the footer area, you know, it's, it's both the same area on both, one of the options you get is to have different odd and even pages. So that is what we're going to click. I'm going to click to have different odd and even pages. And now you see we've got an odd page header, even page header, odd page header. So just to make this more clear, odd pages normally are over on the right hand side for their page number. So I'm just going to put it there so that you can see this visually. And left hand pages, I'm going to add in a page number on the left hand side. You don't have to have page numbers for gutters to work. I'm just doing this so that you can see on your screen what I am doing. So we've got Odd pages, it says odd page header, and we've got the odd page number over on the right, which is where they belong. We've got even page header, we've got an even page number over on the left, which is where they belong. Odd page header, and so on. If we scroll down further in here, we still get even, odd, even, odd, even, odd. And for gutters, this matters. I'm just going to click back into the main document again. For the gutters, you see on the odd page, there is extra space over on the left-hand side, which is the side where it is going to be sucked into the binding. But then on an even page, there is extra space over here on the right-hand side, which is going to be sucked into the binding, and then extra space over here on the odd page. If we scroll down a little, extra space over here on the right-hand right hand side, extra space over on the left-hand side. So you can see that it's alternating. So now that Word knows that we have odd and even pages set up, it takes care of the gutters and puts the gutters in the correct spots on the odd and even page. So that is the steps for setting up gutters for your document. First, you want to set the margins, and the margins are under, under layout, margins, custom margins, and that's where you set the gutter position or the gutter size. Well, I suppose in the position too, but you, that pretty much is always set to left. So it's more important to set the gutter size of 0.3 inches. And then when you go into the header, by just clicking up here in this top area, you want to set it to have different odd and even pages so that Word knows to alternate them, left, right, left, right, and so on. So let me know if you have any questions at all about how to set up gutters in Word so that they alternate and they show up in the correct places for your printing.